Hi everybody, my name is Deborah and I'm from Northern Ireland and I wanted to come on and make this video as a testimonial to Eric and Atlantis Scaler and everything that Elisa and the mediums and everyone have done for me and my path, um, not only my spiritual path but the path um, that my life has taken since really from the time of COVID in 2020. At that time, um, my whole identity and everything that I thought was my life and where it was going fell apart. And it felt like a death to me, but it wasn't a death. It, it was a death of the self. It was a death of coming to terms with how far I had come and that that cycle had ended. But I find myself in a place of breakdown, really. I fell apart. Um, in my 50s, I ended up going back to live with my parents for a few months over lockdown. And during that time, there was a lot of resolution. Um, but also there was a lot of fear um, I had to really face myself. So when I came back home after a few months and everyone was trying to get their lives back together again, I was in a place of, a, what am I going to do now? I, I was a meditation leader, a Reiki master. I was doing loads of things, but really what I was doing was burning myself out. And what the breakdown was all about was me levelling up, stepping up into this new version of me. And that was very difficult for me because basically the confidence wasn't there. Um, the confidence that I never really got in childhood, um, that nurturing of self. So I got a regular job and... I thought about things and I looked at Channeling and Eric and I really got engrossed in it and I reached out, I got the ERPE, I got the microbiome and things started to go really well and my children started blossoming, they still are and I found myself back on the path again and that's fantastic but that is also something that I would like to reflect upon you on your path um, I know many of you have had great loss and part of that loss is wrapped up in your own identity and who you were to that person and really listening to the mediums and um, asking for help from Eric and Atlantis Scaler it really brings you back to yourself and how much love you're giving yourself and how important that is. And I think the biggest lesson in this journey of what I would like to say is self-understanding and self-empowerment is loving yourself and giving to yourself what we so freely give to others. So that's what Channeling Eric has taught me. So when I got both those um, Atlantis Scalar treatments done, I asked Eric, well, what, what next? What can I do next? Because I'm back on my spiritual path slightly at this time, still trying to find myself. And he told me to get the mini mediumship uh, package. So I thought to myself, well, I wonder why he's asked me to do this, but I totally trust Eric. And I came to realise that it can be not about actually going on mediumship, but just opening up your intuition and understanding everything that's going on round about you and just being more aware of your guidance. So um, I find myself learning tarot. I find myself um, giving myself readings, giving other people readings. And it was it's, it's been absolutely amazing. So um, it actually led me to taking a course with Michelle Gray 
and um, she has helped me tremendously. And I feel like the whole team are like sisters, brothers and sisters, and that we've all been doing this together in many lifetimes. And I feel that that's true of everybody who is drawn to channeling Eric and the packages that uh, are offered that, you know, we'll come back to, to help each other. And I hope that this video can help at least one person to realize that, you know, we are here to help each other. And if we only give each other a chance and give ourselves a chance by uh, listening to our hearts and following our hearts, then we will we will get there. So what I do is I keep checking in on myself. I keep um, going in and listening to my heart. And what the mediumship course has done, it has taught me how to understand my body and all those feelings that overwhelm me. And I just feel more in control of where I am and where I'm going. And that is such a gift. So... I would like to pull a card really for everybody. I hope that's okay. Um, tarot cards are just really telling us, guiding us. Tarot doesn't lie, you know, it doesn't take, take, to take action, it just gives us guidance. So I'd like to pull a card for everybody and let's see what comes up for all those who are drawn to watch this video and who are drawn to channeling Eric and the Atlanta Scaler. And let's see, here we go. Do you want to <laughs> and that's very apt. So it's the judgment card in reverse and the bottom card is the five of wands in reverse. So the judgment card in reverse is all about not judging yourself too much, just giving yourself all that attention that you need without expectation. And the bottom card, as I said, is the Five of Wands in reverse. So the, the Five of Wands upright would be, oh, there's competition, you know, I have to strive hard for doing everything. But we put it in reverse and let's just take that pressure off yourself. You can do it, you know, reach out for friends, don't look as friends, don't look as people around you as competitors. Um, look, look at life as something that we're here to help each other on the way with. And um, I think there's one more, call to do one more and see what we get. The Ace of Wands, there you go brand new passionate beginning and that's what happens when you start really really loving yourself and looking at yourself and putting yourself first no matter what's going on in your life if you don't put yourself first you know you can't give out from an empty cup self-love 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 yeah don't embark on that journey until you know where you're going you know that you've got all that fire and that passion within you don't be rushing in. Put it all inside first. An Atlanta scaler can help you to do that. I'm proof of that. My family are thriving. I'm thriving. I'm excited. I know that there will <clears throat> be obstacles. <clears throat> and my voice goes as I say that. Of course, there will be obstacles. But I know how to cope with them now. And I know that I have that support system there for me. And that has been the best thing that I've ever done. So treat yourself Put yourself first and love yourself more and more and more each day. Sending you all lots of love. Bye.